Welcome back to Evil Land 2. We've just gotten out of the uh, prison and into this town. The gates are closed now that we have some money, so maybe we can. Let's loot the chest first. Nice. Beautiful. We saw nothing. Welcome to Raza's. What would you like to buy? Ooh. Weapons? I don't know. All the weapons and pieces of armor have been requisitioned for the war. Come back and see us when it's over. Let's see, can I buy whiskey? Whiskey? That'll be 15G. Sure. Got old whiskey. Thank you. Tea. That'll be 25G. Flavored tea. Sugar. Sugar, that'll be 15. Get one of each. Oh, no. What's up? Not to worry, you're delightful. Alright, so we got the items we can get. We'll probably get to use them somewhere. With a heart, is this. Welcome to the Genova Orphanage. We take care of all the children we, that who've lost their parents to the war and other disasters. It's a constant commitment, every day and every hour, and unfortunately, every minute, too. Okay, nothing in that chest. I'm bored, wanna play a game? I'm hungry, when do we eat? I am think I'm gonna have to pee soon. I'm a sweet girl, right? Huh? Yes? What? I can't hear you. Say I'm sweet, say it! Yes, Haha. <laughs> Red-haired girl is very kind. Yes, yes, ask her. We have great fun together. I'm resting for a second. Oh, I do hope they'll leave me alone. Nothing to do there. Oh, there's the inn. And a W shop. My fiancé went off to Mayin Bridge to fight those awful demons. I'm so worried about him. What if he comes back disfigured, with a scar across his beautiful face? Today's menu. Crunchy salad topped with six-legged critters. Main dish, small rat stewed in its own dubious juices. Dessert, cook, cook hair pie. Today's special, beef cartilage, big wok with a side of rock-proof fries. Enjoy your meal. Sounds extra delicious, I guess. To Walk Donald's, we haven't started serving food yet. Stop by later. Yeah, hopefully they've gotten some more appetizing options. I'm so proud of my little Dalkin. He always had such a keen sense of justice. And now he's an important man. I just hope war doesn't change him and that he'll always be my sweet little boy. Nice. There's the walls. You. Darn it, the sorceress have requisitioned the library again. Since they moved into the city, it's been barely accessible. I do wonder what they're searching for in there. Regardless, all this time I've been kept from reading the next installment of the Pirate Roberts Adventure Series. Is that the library? Here's some mage dudes. Sorcerer, just nothing. Store's closed. I don't think our beloved Emperor really wanted to go to war with the demons. After all, he had good relations with them. So why this war? Why now? Do you want to know? Do you know Professor Giro? He's the greatest inventor the Empire's ever known. Rumor has it his top secret lab is somewhere in the mountains. Long live the Empire. Long live Emperor Lothair. You can't go in there. Another gate. Some mining or arrows. It's the barracks. Any chests in the barracks? So it seems so. Soldiers aren't always very discriminating, but lieutenants are a whole another breed. We do this for the money, but they love their job. That's nuts, right? But hey, don't go around repeating it, all right? I could have 
I could have level 99 problems. Access to the water walls is... Outer walls is forbidden during wartime. Even the pigeons will have to learn to defecate elsewhere. Anyway, that's what the lieutenant is trying to teach them. We're all wishing him the best of luck. Okay, so I'm locked out of that. This is more barracks. Can't go. Dead end. So pretty much it's time to go to the inn. Every night I have the same dream. A young woman dressed in black and white in a gothic style maid outfit comes to speak to me, and then I wake up. I would give my most treasured possessions for a moment with her in real life. Oh well, another drink innkeeper. Welcome to the River Rat Inn. Enjoy our homebrewed beer, guaranteed frothless every time. Sample one of our home cooked meals, fresh from yesterday or even last week. Sleep in our beds with fresh sheets changed less than a month ago. Have a most pleasant stay. After that pitch, I seriously deserve a raise. I've been coming here every night for the past 10 years. The food is still as awful. Makes you wonder why I keep coming. Yeah, why do I anyway? I guess the, talk to all the guards? Let's see. Hee 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 hee. You wish to bring something in or out of the city. Hee hee hee. With reduced transit charges, of course. Hee hee hee. Ask Mr. Mudwell. He's in the inner courtyard. Hee hee hee. I will do so after I question. Oh, it's like a, a rat. Squeak! 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 Here for dinner. <gasps> what? A rat? Of course not. Our establishment is the f finest cleanliness. It must be stuffed toy left by a child. That's the most likely explanation, isn't it? Welcome to the River Rat Inn. I can honestly tell you that we're the best inn in town. And I'd even add, honestly, still, that you remember your stay with us for a long time. Get down here, Norbert. Don't try and tell me you're drunk. The alcohol in this beer evaporated years ago. I'm telling you, I saw them. There were these strange shapes swirling around me, trying to get inside me. Right as I was going to the sorceress's headquarters. Well, I was right next to you, and I didn't see a thing. Maybe it was the mushroom dish you had. I did warn you not to eat anything here. You'd like to sleep? For you, that'll be 50 gold for the night. How's that sound? Eh. Your loss. Yeah, unless there's some reason why I have to sleep. I mean, it could be an Easter egg for doing it, but... Mr. Mudwell, are you looking to leave the city? I should be able to arrange for that for you. Got some chicken feed for me? You know, clams, moolah, something to smooth uh, other relations? Not that I don't trust you, but a little collateral never hurts. Stags, I don't like the looks of this guy. I don't think he's such a great idea to deal with him. The young lady is correct, at least in theory. However, I fear we have no other choice. In the army, we often say that the ends justify the means. I think the adage applies in the present circumstances. But I shall leave the strategizing to you, Solid Snail. So, you interested? Yeah. Ah, I think you and me are gonna get along just fine. How about a small deposit to facilitate our relations? Let's say, around 400 gold to start off. No. Now, it's up to you. Nobody can say I'm twisting your arm. But if it was me... Well, anyway, there's no rush. I don't think I have that. Oh, I do have 400. I just have, en just have enough. Don't get your pennies in a bunch. You've earned my trust now. So here's the deal. Bring me 150 gold more, and I'll get you out of here. Oh, you can always refuse, of course. But in that case, I'll keep your deposit. It's only natural. I'm guessing you'll accept. Yes. I suppose you don't have, or no longer have, the money on you. Am I mistaken? If you want to leave, it looks like you'll have to work for it. I know. That ugly world. Personally, I try as often as possible to refrain from it. But at times, the ends justify the means. My assistant at the inn should be able to help you find a few odd jobs. 
In return, you'll have to sleep there. I know, I know. It's no five-star accommodation. But just think of tomorrow, when you'll be free and far from the Empire. Good luck! Stevix, are you sure that was a good idea? Sod Snail, I shall never let you negotiate again. That's a bit harsh, Minos. Although, Stevix did fall for the it, hook, line, and sinker. But he's trying his best, and that's what... I, well, I had no... It just... The deal doesn't happen. If I don't go through with it. We've lost all our money, and what's worse, we shall have to pay our way out of the city. First of all, that was our money, not yours. And secondly, you don't have to worry, because I'll see to it that we get out of this horrible place. Is that okay with you, Stevix? After all, Minos and you are on the lam. Let me make myself useful and earn some money we need. Sure. Thanks for trusting me. Okay, let's get to work. Did you have the 150? Not yet. Okay, so she can punch. Stupid rat! Alright. You the innkeeper, just the barkeep. No. You the innkeeper? Are you the innkeeper? I'm here on behalf of Mr. Mudwell. What can I do for you, miss? I'm looking to do some work in order to pay Mr. Mudwell. Some work? Hmm, let's see. Here's the list of available positions. Let me know what jumps out at you. Waitress, maid, childcare. Uh, we'll, we'll just go one at a time. Let's start with, uh, waitress. Are you sure you want to accept waitress at McDonald's? Yeah? Go to McDonald's. They'll tell you what you need to do. Just remember, don't eat anything there. I'm not sure I'm going to like this. This way. Welcome to McDonald's. We haven't started serving. Stop by later. Oh, are you the new waitress? Perfect. You're right on time. We'll start serving food real soon. You want me to explain what you have to do? Sure. You'll see it's super easy. By watching closely, you'll see what mood the customer is in. Customers come in and sit down. You have to give them time to choose a meal without bothering them. Then, they'll want to place their order. After that, you just come see me to get the meal before bringing it to them. Don't get the wrong order. Wrong. Next, the customers eat their meal. It'll take a different amount of time for each person. Just don't bother them while they're eating. Most of them really hate that. Once they're finished, they'll want to pay for their food quickly before leaving. Go to them fast so they don't leave without paying. Try to take a few orders at the same time before bringing out the meals. The customers like that better. That said, you can only serve one meal at a time. Well, that's it. Easy as pie, right? Do you want me to repeat the instructions? No. So it's gonna be like a... Take orders quickly game? Alright. I've decided yet. Okay. Lego face. I want a, uh, let's see, a salad. The special. Special and a salad. Need today's special. A salad. Ugh. Can't carry two at a time. Eat your frickin' thing. Salad special. Uh oh. 
big walk. So far, so good. Got some money for me. Special. Two specials. A lot of specials. Nope. So far, all specials. Everybody has a special. Chef something. Special and chef something. Pie. I like I didn't couldn't even read it. Salad. or something. Salad, okay. Special. What you want? Big walk. done. And you have Big Walk. I serve everyone. Or is there another round? Doing good. Nice. I think I hit, I served everyone. Not great, but they all got served. Nice, we're done for today. We waited on 15 customers and no one left without eating or paying. The average customer satisfaction was 6.1, which is not bad. Here are your wages. Feel free to come back and work for us. Alright, that's pretty good. But we'll try all the different career paths. Oh, is it already night? What a day. It's about time headed back to the inn. I hope it's going to cost me 50 every night at the inn. So I made 40. Unless I can work at night as Lady of the Night. That could be a fun side game. I've worked for you that night. You staying? Yes. Oh, no charge for staying. Oh, we have to do all of them. So, made at the Delamere residence. That's where they're just... Or just none of the above. I understand. Let me know when you decide to work. Okay. Let's do it. Are you sure you want to accept made at the Delamere residence? Yeah. Well, I wish you in her mansion. Just remember, keep your cool. Not what I had in mind as a kid. I always wanted to be an astronaut. How do they even know what an astronaut is? Thanks for the, the fancy places. 
So let's be doing chores. Ah, there you are, finally. You've barely begun and already you're behind on your work. And what in heaven's name is that you're wearing? A flagrant abuse of aesthetic sense. Start by putting this on. Maid outfit? All right. What? What the heck is this get up? Don't you dare speak to me with that tone. You accepted the position, didn't you? Then do as you're told. It's your uniform. If it's not to your liking, you know where the door is. I see that you've come to your senses. Now, go serve my dear husband his tea. Oh, I would have loved a cup of tea, but there's none left. Be a dear and go fetch some at Miss Raza's shop, would you? Here, you can keep the change. Already has some. Ah, thank you for the tea. Huh, you have some whiskey too. Not a bad idea. Just don't say a word to my wife. Glug, glug, glug. And he's asleep. You're the new maid, right? My dad hides his treasure in the safe in the house. But I won't ever let you find it. Hee hee hee. Not even if you bring me my favorite candy. All right, well, we gotta get the candy. Honestly, young lady, I find it quite presumptuous you- Okay, that's just the same thing. Therefore, I hardly have time to waste speaking to people in the Same dialogue. I- yeah, same. Ah, my husband has fallen asleep. Very good, my dear. You have done well. Now, to the more serious matters. Why do you think I need you? Clean the house, look after the children, serve an aperitif. What are you on about? Um, to serve an aperitif. Of course not. I have Maria for that. Why do you think I need you? Clean up the house? Of course not. I have Maria for that. Um, look for the children? Of course not. What are you on about? Ah, I shouldn't be surprised. You two seem to be quite simple-minded. You don't even know that the primary task of a maid is to spread gossip. It should be obvious, but let's move on to the task at hand. Rumor mongers are claiming that the game Be a Millionaire, which my husband has won several times, is rigged. We must quash these rumors quickly. Naturally, the best way to do so is to spread a counter rumor. We must make haste. Every minute counts. Go spread the rumor in the city immediately. Your reward will be depend on how many people you can convince. Okay. Two minutes to just talk to as many people as possible. You! Cat. Whatever. Why not? My cat, huh? We can talk to... There's two people in here. I think the inn is the way to go. Although... Pick up all the buildings. You, my angel! Oh now, long to see you. In vain, I searched for you at the bottom, the bottom of every tavern around, and now my efforts have finally paid off. Here, a gift I've held on to you for a long time for you. Got candy, nice. Mir miracles do happen. Oh well, another drink, innkeeper. happy here. The barracks makes sense or a shop, why not? Yeah, we're doing 
doing good work here. Oh, I didn't talk to the guard out front. Effectively. I think that's I might be able to get the uh, McDonald's dude possibly. Got him. Or he didn't respond, but... So now I shall return. Let's see what the result is. I don't think anything's gonna really please her. Oh, and also I want to... Is it made? I want... Favorite candy? Oh, my favorite candy! Give it to me! Give me! Yes! Um... Been licked. Cool! Here! What do we get? Lucky Charm! I'm sure this will bring me some luck in the game. At some point. You have convinced 33 people. Well, that's something. Here's your reward. 175 gold. That's actually enough to complete the mission. Actually... It's already night? What a day. Alright, so as I head to the inn, we're gonna call it. Oh, go through the motions. So, catch y'all next time.